Ross. Thanks, Matt. I actually feel a little overdressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me start with offering special greetings to the Ross Intelligence team. Uh, to my colleague, uh, David Cameron, our Dean of uh, the Faculty of Arts and Sciences here, and particularly to Mayor John Tory, your worship. We are always delighted to welcome you back to your alma mater, and we're particularly delighted that you're here today to celebrate with us on this uh, auspicious occasion. On behalf of the University of Toronto community, let me say to all who have been involved in the opening of the Ross Intelligence AI Research and Development Headquarters here in Toronto, congratulations on your homecoming, and most of all, congratulations on your brilliant success in just a few short years. We know that innovation is the engine of prosperity, both economic and social, and the work of Ross Intelligence demonstrates this beautifully. You've developed an incredibly powerful tool to reduce costs and to increase productivity for lawyers and law firms. And at the same time, as you just heard, you've embraced a social mission by providing free access to Ross for nonprofits, law schools, and other associations, and in doing so, really democratizing access to justice for all. So it's both exciting and inspiring. I'm pleased to say that the arrival of Ross North is also part of a larger development over the last couple of years in which Toronto has emerged as a global hub in the AI revolution, a phenomenon that was confirmed most dramatically just a few months ago with the creation of the Vector Institute. I have to say that these developments, while they are very, very impressive, are no mystery. They are a clear example of how long-term public support for investigator-led, curiosity-driven research expands our knowledge of the world and also expands our ability to change the world for the better. Ultimately, it becomes a key driver of innovation and prosperity. So in the case of transformational changes, such as those represented by people like Jeff Hinton and his work in neural networks and, and others in this great department, the applications are multi-sectoral, as we're seeing in the work of U of T researchers and their partners in fields like computational medicine, quantitative finance, and transportation. And now, Ross Intelligence is pioneering the very exciting applications in the legal profession. Clearly, Toronto isn't just catching a wave, we're making waves. And as our friends in San Francisco and investors around the world are realizing, here on the north shore of Lake Ontario, of all places, surfs up. <laughs> Congratulations once again to Ross Intelligence and a very warm welcome to Ross North. Thank you, everyone. Ross.